The Musicians Guild thanks you for not playing your instruments? Yeah, let's just say the Musicians Guild in Discord is very... complicated. Well, I can understand they need to at least understand the instruments themselves. But there's no point having a Musicians Guild if there's no music created for the instruments. That would be like banning music entirely. Yeah, as I said, the Musicians Guild's way is complicated in this world. But don't worry, the band who walks in still survives even today. Well, you might say that song has a way to... keep those musicians alive. Don't you think, uh, Drake? Hey, great grandfather. Great grandfather? I take it your new friend is actually quite surprised. Oh, I forgot. You guys haven't even met. Well, he is very interesting of sorts. He is not very really human, and yet he has demonic features, he has the wings for explanation, and yet he's not exactly angelic. He is not even a ghostwriter like you. Um, I appear to be a Nephilim. I just appear human. Ah, uh, just curious. Does the Nephilim truly perish? Well, not exactly, although they do feel physical pain like humans do. Well, blue stuff so badly. And I might have appeared dead. Oh, that sounds pretty painful. Yeah, but luckily I was able to come back to life, just like every other good Nephilim would. So, apart from you not being truly dead, do you ever find some sort of trouble oh, that is, well, even mischievous to you and your friends? There is one group, but mischief, it pales in comparison to how much damage that group had dealt. Excuse me, huh? Cousin Susan, what's the matter? I looked over the library and somebody might have stolen that book. Wait, what book? The book that says the Book of Robin. Wait a sec. Was he wearing a yellow and black cape and has green rubber gloves and has a grappling hook and a steel staff? I only took a mere glimpse of it, but yes, he was holding a staff of sorts. Then that's Robin of the TG Titans for ya. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Why on earth does he want to steal a book from your library anyway? Perhaps he might be using that book to keep Grandfather from coming to him, making certain that death will not be touching him ever again. And using that book can upset the balance of life and death. For what I know, anyone that tampers with the power of death can bring dire consequences. Even the wound of death that I still have, if misused, can be very dangerous, as it can disintegrate anyone, even death itself. My word, you have experienced quite a lot, haven't you? Yeah, I've been through seeing various deaths. But we need to get that book away from Robin. Now let's go. I believe I know where he's heading. He's heading to that museum. Follow me. Ah, this will be a perfect spot where no one will suspect me. I'll just need to erase all the, all the bad memories in this here book. Look, and change my fate where I can never be touched by death ever again. And by using this, we can ensure you know, our fiancé's fates will be deemed unworthy, and they will be sent to the underworld for all eternity using this book. Drop that book, Robin! That book is not child's play. Don't even try taking that book back from me, lady. Make one move to take it back, and I'll rip these pages to pieces, and you will never use it on me! Woman, don't be stupid. Misusing that book of yours can lead, lead to your life having eternal consequences. Plus, wearing the pages will... No! I refuse to let death get near me until I beat Chris! Even if my revenge takes all eternity! That's your idea of misusing it? For revenge? Revenge over some petty competition of being the best hero? Hey, being number one is not petty. I swear, Drake, if you do anything to get it back, like I'll wait your fate, that it'll be your end. His fate will not end until I say so. 
and with the pages of your book is not gonna do you any good. It will just bring you closer, and closer, and closer to your own demise. I'm gonna ask you one more time: give back that book, or we're just gonna beat you to a bloody pulp, Robin. Okay, okay, you can have this stupid book back. Good. Now scram before you make things worse. Uh, Drake, you don't need to go through such extremes like that. I'm just merely saying that whipping in his own pages would just shorten his life. Yeah, I'm sorry, great grandfather. I was just carried away. Well, it's no biggie. We managed to get that book back, and that's all that matters. Yeah, that's Robin of Atichi Times for you. He'll likely do anything, and even that is fearless to become number one. Sorry if we got involved in that. Involved? You did us a favor. Yeah, at least now I know who he had to deal with. Yeah, the real question is what other troubles Robin and the other TT Titans would try to cause. Hey, I actually looked all over this building for you. There are other scouts like Flock that you would need need help training. We need to get moving. And who was the janitor here? Clean it up. Yes, sir. Such a strange man, isn't he? Maybe. For you gotta hand it to him. He is very generous. Not to mention he's very helpful. Yeah, don't worry. Mister Elden Boss actually knows how to handle things. The who boss? Elden Boss. What? Can I not call someone a boss? Well, no, it's not that. I just find that an unusual kind of boss. Yeah, he's actually known as the Elden Lord, but I do like to call him boss. Besides, he actually has had a group of his own. See? Hmm. Well, I do admit they are quite an interesting fellow. Although I do wonder if Chris will often have his hands full of things.